Hello, everyone. In this video we will discuss how to create and prepare an ER diagram for e-learning system. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates. E-learning represents an innovative shift in the field of learning, providing rapid access to specific knowledge and information. It offers online instruction that can be delivered anytime and anywhere through a wide range of electronic learning solutions such as web-based courseware, online discussion groups, live virtual classes, video and audio streaming, web chat, online simulations, and virtual mentoring. The first step in the development of the e-learning system is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify all entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of e-learning system later on. In the e-learning system we have the following entities. 1. Student 2. Result 3. Lesson 4. Lesson Category 5. Lesson Video 6. Quiz 7. Lesson PDF. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1. Student view their scores for every lesson, one to many relationship. 2. A lesson belongs to a specific lesson category, one to one relationship. 3. A lesson contains multiple videos, one to many relationship. 4. A lesson contains multiple PDF files, one to many relationship. 5. Every lesson has an assessment in a form of quiz, one to one relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. Student entity has the following attributes. ID primary key represented with underline. Student ID no. First name. Last name. Result entity has the following attributes. ID primary key represented with underline. Student ID foreign key. Lesson ID foreign key. Score. Total item. Date recorded lesson entity has the following attributes, ID primary key represented with underline name contents category ID lesson category entity has the following attributes, ID primary key represented with underline name description lesson video entity has the following attributes, ID primary key represented with underline lesson ID foreign key video file quiz entity has the following attributes, ID primary key represented with underline lesson ID question correct answer answer 1 answer 2 answer 3 answer 4 lesson PDF entity has the following attributes, ID primary key represented with underline lesson ID foreign key PDF file. Entity relationship diagrams illustrate the relationships between entities in a database. This can be helpful in understanding how the data is organized and how it can be accessed. Additionally, ER diagrams can help in designing and creating a database. Finally, ER diagrams can be used for data analysis and reporting. Entity, a thing or concept that is represented in a database by a row in a table. Entity relationship, the association between entities in a database. ER diagram, a type of entity relationship diagram that shows the relationships between tables and columns in a database. The ER diagram designed for e-learning system will be a great help and source of information in the next stage of the project which will be the actual database design. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.